All right, our evening is looking quiet and we do have a fair amount of cloud cover and again those clouds and the wind that's been persistent out of the south will hold temperatures fairly steady for most of your evening. So don't expect these numbers to change too much before 10 o'clock. South wind, 7 miles per hour, 25 at Moorheads Airport, 21 at Hector as we see across the skyline of Fargo. It's busy. Here's a look at your temperatures in your hometown. It's 13 in Bedette, 18 in Thief River Falls, and Roseau says 25 at this hour. Pretty mild there, 25 in Sisseton, 20 for Jamestown. And temperatures yesterday at this time were close to zero, just below in parts of northwest Minnesota, so a big time warm up for most of us. Snow showers west of Sioux Falls and extend all the way up into the uh, Duluth area for our evening. We have quiet conditions for now, but we're, we're seeing an onset of clouds out to the west and northwest of us that will bring a chance of snow by daybreak. Speaking of snow, the central plains, including parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, have all seen more snow this December than Minnesota or North Dakota as our quiet weather trend continues. But we do have some snow to worry about, and this evening, things stay quiet. South winds, temperatures nearly steady, will slip off into the teens, and that's where we stay overnight. By morning, south winds for most, but notice the blue stuff moving in, in upper stage left here as we'll have snow showers in the Devil's Lake Basin for your morning commute. Remember, even a little dash of snow can make things a little slippery. By the midday hour, you'll notice the Southern Valley and Fargo not quite seeing snow showers yet. We may have a flurry or two in the midday hour. Our best chance comes in the mid afternoon. So your commute home in Grand Forks, Fargo, Fergus Falls and Detroit Lakes, even Thief River Falls will have a chance at being a little slippery. It won't be a lot of snow, but we'll have passing snow showers through the afternoon and early evening. They should exit fairly quickly off to the east. Temperatures stay mild. The wind from the south will be upwards of 20 miles per hour, and we're expecting a trace to a half of an inch for most locations. Isolated spots could see up to one inch of snow here and there. Your planner in Fargo, temperatures rising out of the teens. South winds, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Cloudy skies, best chance of snow showers starting in the early to mid-afternoon here. And for the drive home, it could be slippery in spots. Temperatures pretty steady through the evening on a cloudy night here in Fargo. Warmest temperatures out to the west in the afternoon. Your skies should be clearing a little bit and the snow ending while it's moving from the Red River Valley into western Minnesota for the afternoon hours here in the central Red River Valley. Kim capturing a gorgeous skyline in the Grand Forks area. Planning forecast shows quiet Thursday. Another round of potential spits from the sky in the form of flakes, but temperatures still way above average. A little cooler Saturday, but take a look at this. We're going to challenge 40 degrees Sunday and Monday with a slight chance of mixed precipitation for the weekend. All in all, this mild trend continues.